What's in here? Ooh. Moldy bottle water and a vaccine. So I picked up earlier a purification tablet and moldy bottle of water. So if you combine those two in the crafting bench, you get a regular bottled water. Now this is great. I can go ahead and drink that and I believe it replenishes 50% of my hydration. However, if I can find myself a can, I can permanently solve my hydration issues. And you will see that very shortly if I can get my hands on a can and holy smokes, a sledgehammer. Sledgehammer is the strongest weapon in the game tied with the fire axe but the fire axe needs to be in a fire station which i don't have readily available however sludge hammer i do oh man sludge hammer goodness is there another zombie thought i heard another zombie you know what? let's head up in here let's clear this out uh oh travel pack perfect so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to pick up this travel pack and actually equip it and there we go equip it and my school bag automatically drops off and I've gained another four slots. There are quite a few different um, backpacks that you can use and all of them hold different weights. Oops, hold on. These guys are kind of hard to hit. Uh, all of them hold different weights or different amount of weight and a different amount of items. Oops, come on, come on. There we go. Is there a zombie up here? No, what do we got going on here? Oh, a chainsaw. That is fantastic. We are doing very well right now. I know it means nothing to you, but this is a chainsaw and it goes... Alright, chainsaw is really good. Chainsaw is a fast way of cutting down trees. Um, not very good, surprisingly. You, you'd think it'd be better, but it's not very good at um, killing zombies. You'd think it'd just obliterate them, but it actually takes quite a bit of technique, quote-unquote. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to drop the Swift Magazines. I'm going to drop all this stuff here. I can't leave it and then reload the world or um, save and quit because it will despawn all this stuff. So I'm just dropping it for the time being. And um, on the bright side, we are, we have, we've started great. Oh, I, I don't have my, uh, have my sh I'm not sure if my shift, if my steam things are coming up. If they are, sorry, but um Right now we start off great. We got a sludge hammer, strongest weapon in the game, melee weapon in the game rather. We got food, antibiotics, whatever. We have a bottled water um, and we have a chainsaw and we have a generator. This is a really, really good start. This is a Mosin, which is a um, sniper rifle and is chambered in bonjour ammo, which you, if you remember, we picked some of that up. So I'm going to pick up some of this moldy food and I'm going to pick up this Colt. The Colt will come chambered with some rounds, but uh, the, the shooting mechanic or the, the gun mechanic is a little confusing. So I equipped it here. Uh, as you can see in the top right, I have five out of seven. This gun, naturally it's magazine holds seven and I have five bullets. If I hold T, it gives you all the different uh, Things that you can alter on this gun. I can add a, a barrel. I can, sorry, I can add addition to the barrel. I can add a sight, and I can have different magazines. So what I did there, I hit it, and it ejected the magazine. So there's a swift magazine down there. All I'm going to do is pick up. Well, I'm hoping is the full magazine. Yep. So there's my full magazine. Uh, I can. I'm pressing the click button right now. Nothing is coming up. It's giving me a prompt to hold my gun, and now I'm going to load up. Now I have seven rounds in that Colt and I have a free slot there. So that just goes to show you uh, how to load guns and how the bullets work and whatnot. So what do we got in here? We've got some cloth, we've got some bolts, we've got some stuff. All good stuff, but stuff I want to deal with after. Good. I'm trying to pick up some of the moldy stuff. Also, this is going to be where our home is up here because zombies don't spawn up here period they will not spawn up here and you are safe up here if you want to go for a, a quick uh jog uh like like a, a five minute jog on your treadmill you can do that and just go up there <laughs> that was a horrible example um also this is energy drink uh you know what i can i, I can have an energy drink right now this re replenishes your stamina so i'll just jump around so you can see let's sprint and jump um, so there you go. I am completely at zero. I'm going to drink this. 
and you can see my stamina is shooting up and as well my hydration status also is decreasing so it's a, a 2-4 win there. Now remember how we got that generator? Well that generator powers these bad boys, these are work lights. Uh, in conjunction when the generator or when the work light is placed in the vicinity of the generator it will turn on and provide you light at night. So I'm gonna head back here and before I forget grab this generator there we go and I don't need that stuff so let's head back to our our temporary base at least for the time being it is a base it is our base uh, let's I'm gonna go ahead and just drop this pick up these seeds and if I can pick up that shotgun can I pick this up as well no okay so we're gonna come into the base here drop this off And then we're going to go back and pick up that sludge hammer. Okay, so generator. Let's place this bad boy down. We can just equip it. So we can see now this is the vicinity that the generator will work in. So I'm going to try to center it as much as possible. So I can place lights anywhere in this vicinity. Uh, trying to maximize the border there so let's see if I place it right here there you know what this seems like a good spot boom now anything within that vicinity within that yellow circle will be powered by this and I'm gonna put the work light in a place that I know is gonna be fairly safe so this is where it's going to be a, um, the yellow circle there you go is where I will be able to get light from Wow get electricity from <laughs> that's what I meant to say so any generator within this vicinity, I can be powered by. So I am fairly certain right here should be fine. So what I'm gonna do is place it right here. That works. Boom, now can I turn my generator? Yep, generator does not take batteries, does not take fuel, at least for the time being. And again, if the work light is within the vicinity, you can turn it on. There you go. Don't need it for now though, so I'll just turn that off. That's how generators and work lights work. I'm not sure if the generators can... Um, oh, let's drop off this shotgun here. I'm not sure if generators can power anything else. As To my knowledge, I think the work lights are the only thing it can power, at least for the time being when I'm recording this video. So, I I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's my answer, I don't know. Okay, let's grab the sledgehammer, bring it up there. And we're on our way. Now let's go back and check on those hmm, two duct tapes. I'm going to pick up these duct tapes. They'll be useful in a second. And I'll show you why. Is there anything else here? No. And moldy corn. We'll pick that up. And so... What was I saying? I was saying something. Uh, duct tapes, yes. So duct tapes and cloth can be used to make a sleeping bag. And sleeping bag is essentially a respawn point. And as long as zombies can't get to it, you will always respawn there if you die. If you choose to. Okay. So. Since my base is generally going to be back there. I want to set, set my garden fairly close by. I will eventually make a greenhouse, but for the time being, this will definitely suffice. So, let's see. I'm going to convert all my moldy food into seeds. Moldy cabbage. Perfect. So let's go ahead and plant our carrot seed here. Okay. And we can plant our corn seed. Uh, also, if you have this equipped, and anything that you can place, if you right click, it will rotate it. Um, if, if you want to get fancy with it, <laughs> that's if you want to get fancy with it. I rotated it. I'm going to rotate it twice. Oh, look at that. Rotated it twice. Okay. So duct tape. Adrenaline is not very useful. Adrenaline is mostly just for sprint. If you're in a sticky situation, as you can see, 22, take the shot of adrenaline. And it, it all it does is boost your, your uh, stamina bar. 
uh, similar to an energy drink, but it doesn't have the added benefit of reducing your hydration status. So it is not very good. Adrenaline, not very good. You heard it from here. Okay, another swift mag there. Okay, so again, I'm still on the lookout for a can. A can is the number one item I want right now. Also, 10 out of 10 parking job. Would park into the bank again. <laughs> I'm looking for a can. I'm going to go prone here. Oh, there's a pickaxe. I forgot to pick up. A pickaxe can be used, well, for on rocks. Like a pickaxe should be used. <laughs> it can also be used as a weapon in dire times. We are not, however, in dire times, so... We should be okay. Got another Colt there. Uh, let's uh, let's see what we're working with Colt-wise. Oh, there it is. Uh, I'm going to equip that. Okay, so the other Colt, this has a 7 out of 7. This has a full magazine. And the other Colt has 2 out of 7. Right there. There's the other Colt. So what I could do, and actually I am going to do, is I'm going to equip that Colt with the... Two out of seven. Well, that's really weird. What? Oh, this has six out of seven? Okay, hold on. I'm a little confused. Okay, I ejected the cartridge. It should be in my inventory. I'm going to drop this gun. Where? Okay, so it has six. So what was this thing saying? I don't know. That was... Why is it saying two? Do I have another magazine? Oh, I do have another magazine right there. Derp, derp. Okay. That's... Okay. That's fine. So, on the lookout for a can. We have a couple more houses we can still visit and hopefully, hopefully get a can. Uh, there's a can of beans, which I'm going to eat right now because my hunger is kind of going up. So, I'm going to equip that. And so, I'm at 50% right now. Watch that. Watch, watch my hunger. Are you watching it? Look, look how far it's going down. Look at it. Yep. 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 50 Beans are good. Beans are your friend. <laughs> uh, beans are very, very good. Um, anything canned generally is pretty good for you. Um, at least in this game. I mean, not in real life, but at least in this game it is. Uh, because generally what that means is if it's canned and not moldy is that it hasn't gone bad. Uh, in, the, in the lore, I guess. It hasn't gone bad and therefore it is still healthy and gives you a better benefit now what is this this is cola right yes i don't have space for it though whoa whoa zombie zombie please trying to record a video what do you think this is moldy orange juice okay there's another zombie here smack that all on the floor okay go back to the garden here and uh, i will show you an added benefit to having fresh food because you might be saying well why don't you just purify the food or why don't you just eat it like moldy and then worry about your your um what is that your infection level after well i'll show you what the real benefit is because there's an innate benefit and an immediate benefit of of eating that moldy food and having even fresh food but the the real benefit of having fresh food is once it's uh, har once it's fully grown by the way just harvest it Four, five. So remember when we, um, oh, can I pick this up? Yeah. Remember when we converted the moldy carrots or the moldy food into bean into seeds? Well, if you convert fresh food, it gives you two seeds instead of one. So you can essentially eat one, plant another, and be good forever. <laughs> uh, that's essentially how it is. So. I'm going to go ahead and plant some carrots here. Now that, there we go. Let's get some more carrot seeds here. These will all now, because they're all fresh foods, they will all provide two seeds instead of one. Uh, so I'm pretty good for food from now on. I don't have to worry about food at all. As long as I plant as well as consume, I should be perfectly fine. I'm just going to eat this chocolate bar just to get it out of my inventory. I got Again, I got lots of fresh food I don't have to worry about. Um, and you can just eat this right up. Like, you just go, om, nom, 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 nom. But, in my opinion, it's, it's better, at least in the beginning of the game, since everything's kind of spawned in, you can find food. You can you can manage. But it's my recommendation to plant this stuff. Because, yeah. It, having a garden, 
working for the long term will definitely save you in this game. Short term, yes, it's good to eat the fresh tomato, right? But long term, to plant the seed instead and wait it out is probably better. So just a heads up, just so, just an FYI, just an FYI. <laughs> All right. 